Hey, what is going on? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, outside of the Mal Moore practice facility. Alabama now 1-0 on the season after beating Florida State 24-7. During Nick Saban's Monday press conference, Nick Saban talked a lot about improvement. Here are Nick Saban's opening thoughts from his September 4th press conference. How's everybody today? Good. Well, just to recap the last game, um, Players really played hard and competed well in this last game. The effort was really good. The toughness that we played with, uh, the competitive spirit that we had in a game to overcome adversity, um, all things that uh, I was very, very encouraged by and very pleased with and very proud of. The execution, play in, play out fundamentally, uh, not what we want it to be, not what it needs to be. and. Certainly, um, this leads to a lack of consistency, uh, whether you're playing offense, defense, or special teams. And you know, the fact of the matter is, is we didn't make as many errors as they made in the game, um, which was probably the difference in the game, whether they were special teams or um, whatever you might want to call it. Um, so I think the major goal for us is um, focus on the importance of improvement. Alabama's linebacking corps suffered four key injuries on Saturday night. Anthony Jennings and Rashawn Evans seem to have minor injuries and Terrell Lewis along with Christian Miller season ending injuries. Here is Sabin regarding the linebacking corps. Some injury updates. Um, you know, Christian Miller and Terrell Lewis um, will be out for the year. Um, both of them have season ending surgeries coming up. Um, Rashawn Evans and Anthony Jennings uh, both have, I would call them significant injuries that won't be long term, and we would just list them as questionable. Um, so they'll be day to day, but uncertain as to when they'll be able to come back and play. We're hopeful that it'll be sooner uh, than later. Nick Saban also talked about the offense. Now, in Alabama's 24-7 victory over Florida State, the Alabama offense racked up 269 yards of total offense, 96 yards passing, 173 yards rushing. Saban talked about the play of Jalen Hurts, who was 10 of 18 passing on the night with one touchdown, that 53-yard touchdown strike to Calvin Ridley. Here is Saban talking about the progress and his thoughts of Jalen Hurts. Well, I, I think there were times where he did a good job. He stepped up and made some really good throws, and there were other times where I think he instinctively maybe took off, um, you know, a little sooner than we'd like. Uh, but I, we're going to review those things with him on the film. In fact, we already have, and um, hopefully, um, we'll just get him to trust and believe in um, doing the things that he needs to do to technically execute the plays. Uh, although. I thought his overall performance for the first game was pretty good. I thought some of the issues in the passing game were not quarterback related totally. Um, he had some protection issues uh, that were mental errors, not necessarily physical errors, um, that you know created some negative plays. And when I talk about overall execution, you know that's one of the areas that I would be speaking of. Now we also spoke with Alabama running back Damian Harris who had a big night against Florida State. 73 yards rushing, one touchdown, and actually blocked a punt on special teams. Here's Damian Harris. Again, a lot of his comments echoed Saban regarding improvement of where Alabama needs to go moving forward. Um, that we still got a, a lot of improvement to make and um, you know, we were able to beat a great opponent, a great Florida State team. Uh, you know, we give those guys a lot of credit. They played hard, fought hard the whole game. But um, we, we're not really focused on who we play, we're focused on how we play. And we don't feel like we played the best that we could. So it was the first game and uh, we know it's a long season and we know we got a lot of time to correct things. But for the most part, we're just gonna look at the film today and see what areas we can improve the most. Reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this is Kyle Henderson at BamaInsider.com. Be sure and catch all our coverage leading up to the Fresno State game in week two on BamaInsider.com.